Hello, so today I am going to discuss treatment options of migraine and migraine affects 15% of young people, young women and 5% of young men. It can occur in children also, what is called as childhood migraine or pediatric migraine. It can occur in older people also. So extremes of ages, children and older people, it is less common. In youth from 15 to 45, it is more common. And just to briefly recapitulate, migraine can be diagnosed based on the symptoms, headaches lasting for more than 4 hours, less than 22 hours, along with nausea, vomiting, photophobia, that is, they cannot tolerate uh, bright lights, and phonophobia, they cannot tolerate uh, noise and sounds. So if uh, you have these symptoms, most likely you have migraine, and uh, there are excellent treatments. So in the treatment, there are basically two types. I want to first discuss non-drug treatment. So it is not that anyone who has migraine should just rush for the medications. So there are few things one can do to reduce the frequency of headaches. Now what are they? Number one, it is the sleep. Sleep means a good night sleep for seven to nine hours. That is the good sleep and it should be regular. So start your sleep at the same time plus minus 30 minutes every night and then uh, that will reduce the risk of migraines because we know that people who lose sleep or don't sleep adequately they have higher risk of getting headaches the next day second is timely meals so because we know that people who delay their meals or skip their meals the risk of headaches are higher so regular meals also are important when we are on the topic of meals we should also remember that there are certain food stuffs that can increase the risk of getting migraines and they are you know usually the most tasty or the foods that are favored like chinese food cakes chocolates cheese these are the things you love more but if you are a person with migraine you know and if you if your headaches get worse after having these foods you please avoid these foods so that the headache uh, frequency and severity can be less the third point is the stress now people often tell me doctor how can life be without stress if there is life there should be stress I agree with you, but we can always reduce or do something to reduce the stress and that can be, you know, something some people like meditation and some people go for morning walks, some people listen to soothing music or talk to, you know, your uh, loved ones, spend time with friends. So there are various things one can do to relax their minds and, uh, you know, become stress free and that will go a long way in reducing the headache frequency in migraines so these are some of the things uh, which you can do and if if somebody is overweight for example so definitely reducing weight also reduces the headache frequency because there is something called metabolic syndrome where uh, people can have obesity overweight migraines polycystic ovaries uh, thyroid diseases and even abnormal cholesterol and all of these are linked to overweight and obesity and uh, high carbohydrate intake in the diet. So if you lower your carbohydrates in the diet and reduce your weight, it would definitely help in migraines also. And the last part is exercise. So exercise is something like a double S food. So people who exercise too much can also have increased migraine uh, tendency and those who don't exercise also have high migraine tendency. So each person with migraine, they have to find the correct threshold, how much exercise is ideal. For example, somebody who does gym workouts, they may find that after working out for one hour, their headaches are getting triggered. So they can reduce from 60 minutes to 45 minutes or 40 minutes and then see. For, or for example, a runner who runs for 8 kilometers and then gets migraines. So they, he or she can reduce to 5 or 6 kilometers and then see. So basically find the exercise duration and the intensity which is ideal for you and reduces the headache frequency. So I think, you know, just to summarize what we have discussed, the non-drug, one is adequate sleep at night, uh, minimize stress, timely and regular meals, and then, uh, and then lastly, we discussed about the exercise and also maintaining the normal weight. So by doing these things, I hope that, you know, 50% of you uh, will not need to go to the next step and that is the medications, which I'll be discussing in another video. But for now, I think, I hope you have learned something about non-drug treatments of migraine. Thank you.